Dragon's Dogma 2 offers a large amount of flexibility to the player, allowing you to explore dungeons, fight against powerful monsters and find some really good loot. Whilst a lot of these may be hidden inside caves or rare drops from powerful monsters, there are also a bunch that are very easily accessible from very early on in the game. Getting a hold of these is going to make you very strong very quickly and increase your op by several inches. I'm lighted up Dan and on this channel we cover action RPGs, roguelikes and MMOs MMOs, including lots of Monster Hunter World and some Dragon's Dogma 2 now as well. Currently 88% of viewers on the channel are unsubscribed, even with a large amount of returning viewers. If you do enjoy the video, do subscribe. And with that said, let's get to it. Up first is a bell tower on top of the Riftstone inside Vernworth. To reach this location, all you need to do is to enter the inn, go to the top and head outside, climb the ladder over to the roof, jump the rooftops and climb up into the bell tower. Inside here, you'll find the fantastic fantastic silver rapier weapon for fighters, which is a really strong sword for the early game, allowing you to save your gold while still getting a very strong fighter weapon. You'll also get the Savant's boots, a solid option for leg armor for the mage class, as well as a seeker's token and a fairy stone, a super useful item that allows you to fast travel. Next up, whilst we're here, let's quickly head into Vernworth Castle, located towards the south side of the capital, and head on over to the audio chamber. Right at the back of the large throne is a chest containing the heraldic cape. This isn't anything special, but if you or your pawn don't have a cape, it's a good starter option and looks pretty cool. What we're really interested in is the vault, which will be locked right now. Heading through the kitchen entrance and following your way down the stairs, you will reach the locked vault doors. There's a couple of steps here to get the key, but it's going to be super worth it. We're going to take the West Oxcart Station over to Checkpoint Rest Town. Head over to this location on the map east of town to encounter Oscar who will need saving from an ogre. After saving both Oscar and his pants from a brown watery demise, he'll ask you to accompany him once more over to the cenotaph. Escort him over, you can avoid all the battles, you don't need to get involved in anything here. Take him through the cenotaph, fighting all the skeletons, protecting him the whole while. Once you're done, you'll be rewarded with 9k gold, an ancient battleground key, a fancy ass spell book that I have a sneaking suspicion you'll need later, so maybe don't sell this one, and the makeshift vault key we need to access Vernworth Vault over in the chest. Before we head out, let's use the Ancient Battlegrounds key on a locked door just before this point, leading to two chests with some gold, another fairy stone, and the fantastic Infernal Edge weapon. A strong mystic spear hand weapon with a permanent fire buff on it. Really useful in this game since so many enemies are weak to fire, and it looks goddamn badass as well. As you head out of the cenotaph, leaving the dungeon heading up the ladder. Near enough right in front of you is an armoured cyclops just waiting for you to fight it. My pawn managed to steal, I think as the passive thief ability just during their regular strikes, the Melorian Cyclops Veil. Pretty dope looking head armour for warrior vocation. Very cool. Having a thief in your party is going to get you so much extra stuff, you should really consider it. And definitely give them pilfer as one of their active skills. In the chest just behind the cyclops is the black matter two-handed warhammer weapon for the fight of occasion as well. This is a really strong weapon with a tremendous amount of knockdown power. A fantastic choice, especially in early game for the fighter. Again, saves you money, you just don't need to buy this gear, allowing you instead to spend that money on different armor or upgrading all of your gear. Once more, increasing your op drastically. Now we can finally head over to Vernworth Castle Vault to claim our much-deserved spoils. There's a bunch of chests in here for the Ring of Reassurance, the very stylish Worm Hunter's Cloak, a decayed Medusa head, a wad of 20k gold, but the real prize here is the Daughter of the Evening Shield for the fighter class. This, alongside the Silver Rapier you picked up in the Bell Tower, is going to allow your fighter to shine, also increasing their op -ness. Sorry, had to get it in one more time. And with all of these, you should get really strong, really OP right at the start of the game. Have you already grabbed any of these yourself? Is there anything else that you would advise a new player to go and pick up? Let us know in the comments below so we can all learn from each other as a community. And if you enjoyed this video, it would mean the world if you can take us from 88% of unsubscribed viewers onwards and upwards. And it signals to me that you want to see more Dragon's Dogma 2 content. But until next time, I'll see you in the next one, Master Arisen.